Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games and I'm Michael and today we are looking at another Planet Coaster Coaster Spotlight and I'm really excited to be joined by none other than Iron Maddie and this is we've done a lot of park tours together but this is the first kind of coaster or ride spotlight so thank you so much for joining me Maddie. Thank you ever so much for having me along. Yeah, and so what are your kind of, before we actually ride the coaster and stuff, as you're kind of getting a view of the layout, um, what kind of stands out to you? It's quite big. I'm <laughs> not going to lie, it's quite a hefty coaster, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it, it looks fantastic. I'm loving the look of it. It looks like it keeps up a great momentum all the way around. Yeah, it looks like a really interesting ride. Actually, quite looking forward to get on this. Yeah, and I'm really surprised that, so if I pause it for a second, if we look there, so it's only got four, so this is basically like two-thirds the length of a normal RMC coaster train, and so it's kind of interesting going with the shorter the shorter coaster car, uh, but we'll kind of look at the details of stuff kind of after we ride the coaster, um, but as you can see, like, there's not, not too much detailing around here, and there doesn't need to be, like, this is about just creating the individual coaster, um, Although we do have the little little realism of the pipe there. I wish they gave us smaller pipes in the game, but that works. And I mean, this is a, oops, this is a great view from right here, kind of from guest view. Um, yeah, I love that sight line. Yeah, that the sight was, line is phenomenal. That would look amazing in a park as well. I could proper envision seeing that in an actual park as well and having that as like one of the main vocal points of a park because it looks fantastic. Yeah, totally agree. And I, I love the sign. I believe this is the letters that Mavs Fam 4 made um, because they're the best on the workshop and everybody's using them as, as they should. Um, so shout out to Mavs for all that stuff. As we have the queue here, now we'll say here with the building, the station building, um, I just I think this needs to be moved, right? Just, you know, if you were to just select that piece in advance, move it a little bit. Um, but I do like how there's covering in here and... You know, maybe, maybe kind of doubling this up, and like one thing you could do for this is putting it this way to kind of create that that ceiling piece too. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Maddie? Just kind of doing that for the ceiling yeah, as well. Yeah, um, I, I must admit I've done that quite a bit. Now, with this being my first coaster spotlight, I'm I'm obviously a little bit unfamiliar with what it is that you would normally look out for. I've never mm -hmm. done a coaster spotlight myself, so I don't know if you are gonna focus predominantly on the coaster only so we don't like kind of really look at anything else so i don't know maybe if that's what this creative has tried to do here mm -hmm. is like the queue line doesn't matter it is all about the coaster so like this is just thrown together doesn't matter if the station looks good doesn't matter if the queue line looks good so long as the coaster is good that's all that matters kind of thing so i don't know how how he's tried to approach this yeah and same, you know, it's kind of that's one thing when looking at individual coasters is you don't really know that aspect of it. Um, so usually when I do these, I'll just kind of as I go, if I see something that can be like a you know useful hint, I'll kind of point it out. Like I was talking about here, you know, um, but you know what? I thought I'd change the. I always like setting it to twelve, but you know, just kind of choosing that piece and just kind of moving it, moving it in just ever so slightly. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, I, I mean, if we were looking at like the whole thing on a whole, I would, I would like to see more trimming on the building. And yeah, agreed. And things like that. More uh, beams. Just like kind of bring, yeah, beams, beams, more beams. And then just in case you didn't have enough beams, I had a couple <laughs> more as well, just in yeah. case. And then agreed. you probably got enough beams. But here, I love this too, though, placing this, maybe push it down just a little bit more, but you've got the, the realism of having this wooden piece above the walkway for guests um which i think is a good touch and yeah, i'll show at the end i'll show at the end another piece that could have been used that might might have worked just a little bit better because it's not as thick as this piece is and it doesn't like the other underbelly of that underbelly the underbelly of that um wooden plank piece obviously isn't flat um but yeah so i mean this is about looking at the coaster too and so we see rail breaker it's the steel topped iron fury all green which is great to see you know, vertical G-force is a little bit high. Maybe lateral is just a tad bit, but it's 170 foot drop, um, five airtime count, two inversions. Um, so really excited to take a ride on this coaster.
All right, Maddie. So we just got off this wonderful RMC coaster. And so what are your thoughts? I have quite a lot of thoughts, actually. Oh, you mean with regards to the coaster? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice job. The That zero G roll, that very first one, was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm not a coaster expert at all. I, I don't pretend to be. I'm nowhere near as knowledgeable as a coaster as, as Michael is. But yeah, I thought it was really good. I would potentially say the second half of the ride maybe just could have done with a little tiny bit more smoothing as it yeah. just felt like kind of just in the odd one or two places especially as it went over some of the bumps it kind of went over quite fast and for me like the second half of the ride wasn't quite as strong as the first half of the ride but I, I, absolutely brilliant i think it was really really good job to be honest i, I like that yeah i agree i think it could have done with another inversion like another it doesn't have to be that big of a zero g roll but especially when you come around here there could have been like a zero g roll or a barrel roll or heart line roll or you know just something else kind of added in because it does kind of seem like you get to this part and then it's kind of like the, it just kind of it's it still has the great speed but yeah i think it could have been smooth maybe just a little bit there but you know just kind of all of a sudden um the elements kind of stop if that makes sense um but i mean if you just look at this from above i mean this is a really really massive layout and i mean my my goodness does it fly through the layout but it doesn't seem too fast right um and yeah i just i really liked it and i, I would wonder love if... to see it in a park i would love i could almost see this in a kind of quarry mm, i could kind yeah. of like see almost like kind of all the sandstone and all the rocks and all that like there's um now i don't know if you've ever played warzone or not um, or familiar with Warzone? I have but not. Quarry. Okay, there's a big area on the map called Quarry, and on there I can almost envision seeing this coaster in that type of area. Like okay. Very much kind of like like all the diggers and all the big warehouse buildings and all that kind of stuff. And I think that'd look amazing as well. Yeah. Actually, I'd like kind of just whizzing around this great big quarry site with all the diggers and the cranes and everything. I think it'd look incredible. Agreed. Yeah, and I love the realism of this. Now, one thing I would say is, so if we look at night, um, you know, these lights, they're going to give off a good good bit of lighting. Um, but I don't, I mean, me personally, I feel like with them just kind of sitting there, and even though they're sitting on those things, like that takes away from the realism just a tad bit. And lights, I wonder if you've ever used these, Maddie. So one light that I've kind of started using recently for this is... Um, which now I gotta find where they're at. There we go. Lights. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Now that I'm under pressure, I'm like, where's the lights at? Um, it's these right here. So you just color them white, and which now I gotta get out of this camera mode. And you know, don't you hate it when it's like it puts it way away from where you're actually at? Oh yes. The wonderful it's joys so of unique. yeah. So you color this white. And then you, um, you know, obviously we'll we'll turn it and make it look. I guess it needs to be this way. And so you kind of have it, you know, going up the side, um, and it just kind of gives that a little bit more of a realistic look because you see lights like this on the coasters all the time. And so this one, since you have your pathway like that, you might you might turn it sideways a little bit, or you could just have it kind of like this, and it gives off, um, you know, gives off enough light too. Um, yeah, just tactful. So yeah, and so it's just tactful, and it's, it gives light, but it doesn't, you know, take, a, it, lo it looks from a realistic sense, but I love the little, um, you know, the little custom catwalk there is pretty cool, just because you don't see people doing that much, and then, I don't know if you noticed, Batty, but the pieces here are just scaffolding pieces, so it's wow. just these, I mean, look at this, all these scaffolding pieces, and, I mean, this looks amazing, though, just the, the custom supported, because you are starting to see this with RMCs now that have this one or two just massive supports and nothing else and it's just such a majestic look yeah, um it looks fantastic and it's like nine percent on a next gen console <laughs> and it's not even themed yeah that's the craziness um that's and so insane. yeah this is really crazy and so one one last thing i wanted to show is i wonder if you've seen these pieces too maddie um so oops that's not what i meant to do <laughs> <laughs> you know sometimes we uh 
we accidentally click on stuff we're not meaning to click on. But these, um, oh, they're under scaffolding pieces. So I was trying to remember exactly where they're at. So they're here under the scaffolding, the wooden scaffolding pieces. And so these pieces are great for, um, for like the realism sense of you just put it underneath the coaster track like this. And, okay. and so they block, you know, because you see this on wooden coasters, right? Like anywhere where there's a path or anything underneath that you wouldn't want something to fall through, you kind of put these here and then it, it's not as thick as these other wooden kind of blocks yeah. and stuff. And so that's a piece that I've started using recently that kind of adds that extra touch of realism and stuff. Um, so that's the last thing I wanted to say about that. But that, I think that's overall, a really good tip. yeah, I like that yeah. tip. I'm going to use that myself. Yeah, I appreciate that. We got this little door here for the transfer tracks. So love my transfer tracks. Um, really, really well done. Um, do you have any closing remarks, Maddie, or anything else that? No, I don't believe say? so. No, I, th I just think really nicely done. I'd love to see more rides from this creator, and I'd love to see this themed as well. Um, yeah, great job. Really, really well done. Yeah, and thank and... you ever so much, Michael, for having me along as well. Of course, and I believe I said in the beginning, and if not, that is totally my fault obviously it was just a brain slip um but this was created by tally gaming um that's not the gamer tag on playstation but that is his youtube channel so make sure to go check it out because there's a lot of coaster povs um and you know some really good coasters that are made because this is this is just one of many coasters on the channel so make sure to go check out tally gaming and thank you so much maddie for joining me thank you very much for having me all right guys have a great rest of y'all's day